I have just completed three new barrels that are um, we're conducting some experiments in. This one is actually raising the fry from the tanks on the Phoenix system that we have over there. They, uh, I had to scoop them out because I noticed some of the bigger fish were getting at them and they kept cascading down into the bigger tank. So I corrected that and added them to this and given them some anacris and I think that'll be a, a nice safe place for them to get a little bigger. Over here and here, uh, I've built a floating rack that's something similar to the rack that was done over here and in this case made it float by adding plastic bottles underneath it with air um, and so they keep the wood completely out of the water which is pretty fantastic as you can see we have an aerator a water hyacinth there's some anacris in there providing some oxygen and a couple little goldfish and I'm going to be adding some more and then maybe even a tilapia or two once I get the water stabilized. That's rainwater, but I put a couple of tilapia in there and they either had shock from the move or else they, um, they didn't like the conditions yet. So it's rainwater, maybe it's a little acidic. Um, I'll be checking that as we get this thing started too. Here is a similar system, although I won't be using fish in this system I'll be using my urine yes my urine because I love my urine and I know from having drank my urine on occasion in the past as a therapeutic measure that it causes you to be very conscious about what you eat and what you put in your body because you know you're gonna be drinking something that's gonna have the kind of flavor from that and if it doesn't feel right you're not gonna want to do it again anyway I'm not gonna make an argument for it um, this is something that's no doubt going to be very controversial as it is as urine therapy is so I encourage everybody to experiment and to but to before they do so to read about it learn the details find out for yourself whether or not you feel there's any risk and what you would do to control that I say most importantly is if you're gonna make it if you're gonna do this you do it for yourself you do it for one person you don't do it for other people um, so if somebody has a urinary infection or if they happen to have hepatitis, then nobody else is going to have to be affected by it. And that person that's got it is not going to reinfect themselves. So this is this is a um, this is a, this is also a lifesaver. I mean, if a community has a barrel and they have wood, they can make aquaponics, pisciponics, peaponics, urinoponics, urineponics, whatever. They can make it for themselves right there. Um, they can even do it from chicken urine, I'm sure, or from other forms of urine. So the water, the oxygen is adding oxygen, which will help to decompose. There's, there's, there are the anacris in there. Uh, there'll be a lot of that in there to add more plant-derived oxygen, which will be a place for bacteria to help convert the ammonia. Uh, into nitrates, 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 plant food, and that'll be that'll be uh, consumed, and we'll put in a, a hyacinth in there because that's a great oxygenator, um, and and we'll just test the system. I mean, this is easy. This is this is like so easy. Um, I I mean I almost couldn't sleep after uh, I thought about it last night. So. That's the experiment. I don't recommend uh, anybody selling any food out of a system like this, but take it into consideration. I mean, we don't need to be scared of urine. It's what's in us.